I want you to know that God can make it happen. Our God is a God of possibilities. With Him, there's no impossibility, and there's nothing difficult for Him to do. He does not lie nor fail. What is hard for Him to do does not exist, and that includes your pain. He has all that it takes to translate your pain into blessings. A question like, why would God do that for me? Or why would God go through so much trouble to help me out of my situation might pop up in your head. Well, that's a very simple question to answer. God will go through so much trouble to pull you out of your pain because he loves you. In actuality, doing that for you is no trouble to God at all. The love God has for you is unconditional. He loves you despite your sin, regardless of your works and doings. He loves you with no condition. His love is not based on what you did right or wrong. His love for you is so strong that he cannot bear to watch you in pain. And that's why he specializes in translating pains to blessings. Child of God, you are loved beyond what you can imagine. His love for you is immeasurable. God loves you as a father would love his child. He loves you more than your mother would. This is explained clearly in Isaiah 49, verse 15 to 16. Can a woman forget her sucking child, that she should not have compassion on the son of her womb? Yea, they may forget, yet will I not forget thee. Behold, I have graven thee upon the palms of my hands, Thy walls are continually before me. You are so important to God. He has inscribed a picture of you on the palm of his hands. He will have compassion on you. Therefore, he is mindful of you and can never forget you. Your picture is always before his face, and he sees what you're going through. Be rest assured that he will turn your situation around because he is your dear father that loves you so much. He will never leave you to face the troubles alone. He will not forsake you. He is beside you. The love of God is demonstrated in various ways. The highest of them all is the sacrifice of his dear son, Jesus. God already gave his all and best to you. John 3 verse 16 records this, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son. That is the best of all the gifts God gave. Knowing and acknowledging this will help you a lot. Romans 8 verse 32 says, He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? God didn't give it a second thought before giving up his son for your sake. It shows how important and special you are to him. That is the reason he would not withhold anything from you. He cannot watch you in pain. Imagine you have a child who wants to travel with his friends and needs your car to embark on the journey. Before that time the child asks, you already willed all of your properties to the child. Technically, he owns all that you have. The car the child needs is small compared to all of the things you've given to the child. Therefore, it will be very easy for you to release the car to the child, because you've already given him all that you have. That instance I just gave is the same with God. He has given you his all. Therefore, translating the pains you're going through is so little compared to what he's given and done for you. It's not difficult for him to do that. He is even very willing to do it for you. All you need to do is to trust him. There are lots of instances in the scripture where God translated the pains of people into blessings. One I would like to share with you is the story of Hannah. Hannah was called barren. Penina, her rival, would torment and humiliate her because she was childless. Imagine the kind of pain Hannah must have been through, being barren for many years. Having a rival, the second wife of her husband, who has many children, tormenting her daily. Seeing children surrounding the other women and no child with her was enough agony. The pain and torment went on year after year, making Hannah worried. Her childlessness was becoming embarrassing. 
All she wanted and desired was to experience the joy of motherhood, to carry and cuddle her baby in her arms, and ultimately, to be called a mother. She was not asking too much. All she wanted was just one child. The pain was becoming too much and difficult to bear. She needed a miracle. The love and affection she got from her husband were not enough to take away the sorrow in her heart. She needed to conceive. She wanted her pains translated to blessing. She wanted her name to change from being called barren to a mother. So also, like Hannah, the pain you're going through might have become a stigma. It's now a mark of disgrace. Your situation is becoming embarrassing. I have a message for you today. Do not lose hope. Do not be discouraged, because God is working things out for you. Hannah realized that God is almighty and can help her out of her problem. That made her cry to God in prayers to intervene in her situation. God heard her cry and answered her by giving her Samuel. Samuel was the answer to her prayers, the reason she was no longer called barren. With Samuel in her arms, she realized her pains had vanished. What she had with her was no longer pain, but blessing. God gave her a wonderful child that was not only a blessing to her, but a blessing also to the entire nation of Israel. Samuel became a great prophet of the Old Testament. He became a bridge, a connecting link between the patriarchs, judges, and kings. He was both the last of the judges and the first of the later prophets. He was a very important person in Israel during his time. Consequently, Hannah became a mother of a great prophet. God did not only bless Hannah with Samuel, he gave her five other children, three sons and two daughters. The God that did it for her can do it for you. The same way he translated Hannah's pain and disgrace into a blessing, he can do the same for you. Go to him in prayers and he will prove himself as mighty in your life. Your pain will translate to blessing. What is making you cry and have sleepless nights today will make you smile and rejoice tomorrow. Your prayers will be answered and you will have a testimony. You do not need to bother yourself with how God will make it happen. You might be thinking it's over and that your situation cannot change. But remember, He is a God that can make a way in the wilderness and rivers in a desert. He can surely make your pain become a blessing, regardless of how tough and difficult the situation seems. He will do it in such a way that will surprise you. Psalm 126 verse 1 to 2 says, When the Lord turned against the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter, and our tongue with singing. Then said they among the heathen, The Lord hath done great things for them. When God will turn your pains into blessings, it'll seem like a dream, just the same way he did it for the Israelites. It will seem too good to be true. You will laugh and sing, and you'll not be able to believe your good fortune. Do not give up on God. He loves you, and he's willing to help you. God can carry out his promise in your life and do super abundantly more than all you can dare ask or think. He can do indefinitely beyond your greatest prayers, hopes, or dreams, according to his power that is at work within you. Child of God, keep trusting in Him and seeking Him in prayers. I know, and I'm very sure, that your testimony will be that God has translated my pain to blessing.